The accelerating expansion of the universe is the observation that the expansion of the universe is such that the velocity at which a distant galaxy is receding from the observer is continuously increasing with time. The accelerated expansion was discovered in 1998 by two independent projects, the Supernova Cosmology Project and the High Z Supernova Search Team, which both used distant type Ia supernovae to measure the acceleration. The idea was that as type 1A supernovae have almost the same intrinsic brightness a standard candle, and since objects that are further away appear dimmer, we can use the observed brightness of these supernovae to measure the distance to them. The distance can then be compared to the supernovae's cosmological redshift, which measures how much the universe has expanded since the supernova occurred. The unexpected result was that objects in the universe are moving away from another at an accelerated rate. Cosmologists at the time expected that recession velocity would always be decelerating to the gravitational attraction of the matter in the universe. Three members of these two groups have subsequently been awarded Nobel Prizes for their discovery. Confirmatory evidence has been found in baryon acoustic oscillations, and in analyses of the clustering of galaxies. The accelerated expansion of the universe is thought to have begun since the universe entered its dark energy dominated era roughly 5 billion years ago. Within the framework of general relativity, an accelerated expansion can be accounted for by a positive value of the cosmological constant lambda, equivalent to the presence of a positive vacuum energy, dubbed dark energy. While there are alternative possible explanations, the description assuming dark energy positive lambda is used in the current standard model of cosmology, which also includes cold dark matter CDM and is known as the lambda CDM model. Background In the decades since the detection of cosmic microwave background in 1965, the Big Bang model has become the most accepted model explaining the evolution of our universe. The Friedman equation defines how the energy in the universe drives its expansion. H 2 equals a 2 equals 8 pi g 3 rho minus k c 2 a 2 display style h caret 2 equals left frac dot a a right caret 2 equals frac 8 pi g 3 rho frac mathrm k c caret 2 a caret 2 where kappa represents the curvature of the universe, a t is the scale factor, ρ is the total energy density of the universe, and h is the Hubble parameter. We define a critical density ρ c equals 3 h 2 8 pi g Display style row underscore c equals frac 3h caret 2 8 pi g, and the density parameter omega equals rho rho c. Display style omega equals frac rho rho underscore c. We can then rewrite the Hubble parameter as h a equals h. Zero Omega K A minus two plus Omega M A minus three plus Omega R O minus four plus Omega D E a minus three one plus W Display style H A equals H underscore zero SQRT Omega underscore K A carrot minus two plus Omega underscore M A carrot minus three plus Omega underscore R A carrot minus four plus Omega underscore Mathem to a carrot minus three one plus W where the four currently hypothesized contributors to the energy density of the universe are curvature, matter, radiation and dark energy. 
Each of the components decreases with the expansion of the universe increasing scale factor, except perhaps the dark energy term. It is the values of these cosmological parameters which physicists use to determine the acceleration of the universe. The acceleration equation describes the evolution of the scale factor with time a a equals minus 4 pi g 3 rho plus 3 p c 2 Display style frac d d o t a a equals frac 4 pi g 3 left row plus frac 3 p c caret 2 right, where the pressure p is defined by the cosmological model chosen. See explanatory models below. Physicists at one time were so assured of the deceleration of the universe's expansion that they introduced a so-called deceleration parameter q zero. Current observations point towards this deceleration parameter being negative. Topic: <inaudible> Relation to inflation. According to the theory of cosmic inflation, the very early universe underwent a period of very rapid quasi-exponential expansion. While the time scale for this period of expansion was far shorter than that of the current expansion, this was a period of accelerated expansion with some similarities to the current epoch. Topic technical definition The definition of accelerating expansion is that the second time derivative of the cosmic scale factor, a display style ddot a, is positive, which implies that the deceleration parameter is negative. However, note this does not imply that the Hubble parameter is increasing with time. Since the Hubble parameter is defined as h t a t a t display style h t a quiv dot a t a t, it follows from the definitions that the derivative of the Hubble parameter is given by d h d t equals minus h two one plus q display style frac d h d t equals h caret two one plus q. So the Hubble parameter is decreasing with time unless q minus one display style q. Observations prefer q approximately equals minus 0.55 display style q approximately minus 0.55 which implies that a display style ddot a is positive but dh dt display style dh dt is negative Essentially, this implies that the cosmic recession velocity of any one particular galaxy is increasing with time, but its velocity-distance ratio is still decreasing, thus different galaxies expanding across a sphere of fixed radius cross the sphere more slowly at later times. It is seen from above that the case of zero acceleration, deceleration corresponds to a t is a linear function of T display style T Q equals zero display style Q equals zero a equals C O N S T display style dot a equals const and H T equals one T display style H T equals one T topic evidence for acceleration to learn about the rate of expansion of the universe we look at the magnitude redshift relationship of astronomical objects using standard candles or their distance redshift relationship using standard rulers. We can also look at the growth of large-scale structure, and find that the observed values of the cosmological parameters are best described by models which include an accelerating expansion. <laughs> Supernova observation The first evidence for acceleration came from the observation of type Ia supernovae, which are exploding white dwarfs that have exceeded their stability limit. Because they all have similar masses, their intrinsic luminosity is standardizable. Repeated imaging of selected areas of the sky is used to discover the supernovae, then follow-up observations give their peak brightness, which is converted into a quantity known as luminosity distance see distance measures in cosmology for details. 
Spectral lines of their light can be used to determine their redshift. For supernovae at redshift less than around 0.1, or light travel time less than 10% of the age of the universe, this gives a nearly linear distance redshift relation due to Hubble's law. At larger distances, since the expansion rate of the universe has changed over time, the distance redshift relation deviates from linearity, and this deviation depends on how the expansion rate has changed over time. The full calculation requires computer integration of the Friedman equation, but a simple derivation can be given as follows, the redshift z directly gives the cosmic scale factor at the time the supernova exploded. A t equals 1 1 plus z display style a t equals frac 1 1 plus z so a supernova with a measured redshift z topic 0.5 implies the universe was 1 over 1 plus 0.5 Two thirds of its present size when the supernova exploded. In the case of accelerated expansion, a display style a is positive. Therefore, a display style dot o was smaller in the past than today. Thus, an accelerating universe took a longer time to expand from two thirds to one times its present size compared to a non-accelerating universe with constant. Display style dot a, and the same present day value of the Hubble constant. This results in a larger light travel time, larger distance, and fainter supernovae, which corresponds to the actual observations. Adam Rees et al. found that the distances of the high redshift S and E Ea were, on average, 10% to 15% farther than expected in a low mass density omega m equals 0.2 universe without a cosmological constant. This means that the measured high redshift distances were too large, compared to nearby ones, for a decelerating universe. <laughs> Baryon acoustic oscillations In the early universe before recombination and decoupling took place, photons and matter existed in a primordial plasma. Points of higher density in the photon baryon plasma would contract, being compressed by gravity until the pressure became too large and they expanded again. This contraction and expansion created vibrations in the plasma analogous to sound waves. Since dark matter only interacts gravitationally it stayed at the center of the sound wave, the origin of the original overdensity. When decoupling occurred, approximately 380,000 years after the Big Bang, photons separated from matter and were able to stream freely through the universe, creating the cosmic microwave background as we know it. This left shells of baryonic matter at a fixed radius from the overdensities of dark matter, a distance known as the sound horizon. As time passed and the universe expanded, it was at these anisotropies of matter density where galaxies started to form. So by looking at the distances at which galaxies at different redshifts tend to cluster, it is possible to determine a standard angular diameter distance and use that to compare to the distances predicted by different cosmological models. Peaks have been found in the correlation function the probability that two galaxies will be a certain distance apart at 100 h minus 1 mpc, indicating that this is the size of the sound horizon today, and by comparing this to the sound horizon at the time of decoupling using the CMB, we can confirm the accelerated expansion of the universe. <laughs> Clusters of galaxies Measuring the mass functions of galaxy clusters, which describe the number density of the clusters above a threshold mass, also provides evidence for dark energy. By comparing these mass functions at high and low redshifts to those predicted by different cosmological models, values for W and ωm are obtained which confirm a low matter density and a non-zero amount of dark energy. Age of the universe. Given a cosmological model with certain values of the cosmological density parameters, it is possible to integrate the Friedman equations and derive the age of the universe. T 0 equals 0 1 
d a a display style t underscore zero equals int underscore zero caret one frac dot dot a by comparing this to actual measured values of the cosmological parameters, we can confirm the validity of a model which is accelerating now, and had a slower expansion in the past. <laughs> Gravitational waves as standard sirens Recent discoveries of gravitational waves through LIGO and Virgo not only confirmed Einstein's predictions but also opened a new window into the universe. These gravitational waves can work as sort of standard sirens to measure the expansion rate of the universe. Abbott et al. 2017 measured the Hubble constant value to be approximately 70 km per second per megaparsec. The amplitudes of the strain H is dependent on the masses of the objects causing waves, distances from observation point and gravitational waves detection frequencies. The associated distance measures are dependent on the cosmological parameters like the Hubble constant for nearby objects and will be dependent on other cosmological parameters like the dark energy density, matter density, etc. for distant sources. Explanatory models Topic dark energy The most important property of dark energy is that it has negative pressure repulsive action which is distributed relatively homogeneously in space. P equals WC2 rho display style P equals WC caret 2 rho where C is the speed of light and rho is the energy density. Different theories of dark energy suggest different values of W, with W. The simplest explanation for dark energy is that it is a cosmological constant or vacuum energy, in this case W equals minus 1. This leads to the lambda CDM model, which has generally been known as the standard model of cosmology from 2003 through the present, since it is the simplest model in good agreement with a variety of recent observations. Rees et al. found that their results from supernovae observations favored expanding models with positive cosmological constant ol greater than zero and a current accelerated expansion q zero. Equals. Topic: Phantom energy. Equals current observations allow the possibility of a cosmological model containing a dark energy component with equation of state W topic minus three halves and H O seven O K M S minus one M P C minus one. The time remaining before the universe ends in this big rip is twenty two billion years. Topic: <laughs> Alternative theories. There are many alternative explanations for the accelerating universe. Some examples are quintessence, a proposed form of dark energy with a non-constant state equation, whose density decreases with time. Dark fluid is an alternative explanation for accelerating expansion which attempts to unite dark matter and dark energy into a single framework. Alternatively, some authors have argued that the accelerated expansion of the universe could be due to a repulsive gravitational interaction of antimatter or a deviation of the gravitational laws from general relativity. The measurement of the speed of gravity with the gravitational wave event GW170817 ruled out many modified gravity theories as alternative explanation to dark energy. Another type of model, the backreaction conjecture, was proposed by cosmologist Sykes C. Rasanen. The rate of expansion is not homogeneous, but we are in a region where expansion is faster than the background. Inhomogeneities in the early universe cause the formation of walls and bubbles, where the inside of a bubble has less matter than on average. According to general relativity, space is less curved than on the walls, and thus appears to have more volume and a higher expansion rate. In the denser regions, the expansion is slowed by a higher gravitational attraction. Therefore, the inward collapse of the denser regions looks the same as an accelerating expansion of the bubbles, leading us to conclude that the universe is undergoing an accelerated expansion. The benefit is that it does not require any new physics such as dark energy. Rasanen does not consider the model likely, but without any falsification, it must remain a possibility. It would require rather large density fluctuations 20% to work. A final possibility is that dark energy is an illusion caused by some bias in measurements. 
For example, if we are located in an emptier than average region of space, the observed cosmic expansion rate could be mistaken for a variation in time, or acceleration. A different approach uses a cosmological extension of the equivalence principle to show how space might appear to be expanding more rapidly in the void surrounding our local cluster. While weak, such effects considered cumulatively over billions of years could become significant, creating the illusion of cosmic acceleration, and making it appear as if we live in a Hubble bubble. Yet other possibilities are that the accelerated expansion of the universe is an illusion caused by the relative motion of us to the rest of the universe, or that the supernovae sample size used wasn't large enough. Theories for the consequences to the universe As the universe expands, the density of radiation and ordinary dark matter declines more quickly than the density of dark energy see equation of state and, eventually, dark energy dominates. Specifically, when the scale of the universe doubles, the density of matter is reduced by a factor of eight, but the density of dark energy is nearly unchanged it is exactly constant if the dark energy is a cosmological constant. In models where dark energy is a cosmological constant, the universe will expand exponentially with time in the far future, coming closer and closer to a de Sitter spacetime. This will eventually lead to all evidence for the Big Bang disappearing, as the cosmic microwave background is redshifted to lower intensities and longer wavelengths. Eventually its frequency will be low enough that it will be absorbed by the interstellar medium, and so be screened from any observer within the galaxy. This will occur when the universe is less than 50 times its current age, leading to the end of cosmology as we know it as the distant universe turns dark. A constantly expanding universe with non zero cosmological constant has mass density decreasing over time, to an undetermined point when zero matter density is reached. All matter electrons, protons and neutrons would ionize and disintegrate, with objects dissipating away. Alternatives for the ultimate fate of the universe include the big rip mentioned above, a big bounce, big freeze or big crunch. See also Notes